of the Rays, Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg, Florida. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Cleveland Indians and the Tampa Bay Rays. Major League Baseball on the show is next. So now here is Miles Straw. He will lead this one off today. Leading off the afternoon for Cleveland. The center field. And now the first pitch. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Outside for a ball, one and one. And one. And he pumps the fastball the by him here. One and two now. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you. Count even at two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Lifted down the line and left. And they can't run it down. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And that ball. misses ball four. So a good battle to begin the ball game today, but the leadoff man will reach first anyway. And that will bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Breaking ball drops right in the shoot for a strike. Good speed at first and good speed with the guy at the dish. Going to be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, got to get rid of it quick. And the runner back safely. One strike now from Archer. In there, strike two. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Next to hit is Jose Ramirez. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Throw over to the bag, and a dive, but he's back in. for second a pitch out the throw and a good decision to pitch out that time as he is toast at second base two and one to Jose Ramirez and a fastball but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now they know the threat this guy poses at the plate. I know it's a 3-1 in this situation right here, but I cannot believe for the life of me this pitcher is going to come anywhere near the middle of the zone. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Ramirez is off of first with two away. And there he goes towards second. Pitch is high. The throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. And now in the box, Brandon Lau. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The second baseman. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Ball one, no strike. Now the 1 0 is in there for strike one. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Boy, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Up and in. Two balls and two strikes now. The 2 2 is looked at, and the count moves full. Wander Franco waits on deck. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. So next to bat will be Wander Franco. First offering. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, 
Attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. One and one. Oh, one strike. Ball two. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. A runner at first with no outs here. And another foul ball. Here's another 2-2. Hit in the air out to straightaway left field. Ramirez will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. So here is G-Man Choi. The first first swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. One count. Here's the pitch. One ball, one strike. That Ooh, nibbled that the corner time. there, but missed. Two and one. Ball. And that's upstairs running the count to three and one. He's having a really hard time finding his rhythm and finding the strike zone. It's going to allow this offense to keyhole him in big situations. He's got to figure it out pretty quick. Fouled off. Ready now with the payoff pitch. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Next, it'll be Nelson Cruz. Cruz. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Oh, well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. Nothing in two count. And the pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Not a good Stepping in next, Austin Meadows in his career versus this pitcher. He's a 333 hitter. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. A late swing on the slider and quickly it's 0-2. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there ton of rotation on that ball. You could almost see the red dot from up here. Nasty depth. And he fouls this one off. Ready on 0-2. Oh. Swung on and missed. And that's the final out of the inning. In now for Cleveland, Fran Moraes will stand in against Chris Archer to get the inning underway. And now the first pitch. Outside, that's the ball. Now the 1-0. Oh. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. Got himself a 2-0 fastball there, but he couldn't connect 2-1. I mean, he had to. I'm going to give him benefit of the doubt and say he was sitting Aye. something off speed. Because to be laid on a fastball in a count like that is just unforgivable. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. So a productive start to the inning for the Tribe as their leadoff hitter is aboard. Now that brings up Josh Naylor as he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. He 
easy take there as the off speed pitch misses well inside. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Lifted down the line and left. Long run for the left fielder, and no one will track it down. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Struck him out. Into the box. Harold Ramirez. The left fielder, number 10. Harold Ramirez. Now here's the first offering. He'll swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. His heart sank right there when that ball met the bat, but just had him out front just enough to give him another shot at potentially putting him away. One strike now from Archer. Now a swinging bunt. Nope. Too That's much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off One the ball, outside. Two strikes. Just hung in there on that one. Again, a one-two. To two right, balls and two, two strikes two. now. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there. Really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Sent out to straightaway center field. Kiermaier's got a read on it, and he makes the catch for the second out. Ready now is Bradley Zimmer. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. From the stretch. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. The 0-1 on its way. Nope. Ball That's one. Inside. 34 pitches for him through an inning in two-thirds right now. That's not terrible, but it's a lot higher than he'd like. A ball and two strikes now. Working for the punch out and the offering. Two balls, two strikes. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. Heading out towards shallow right. A Rosarena will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Randy Rosarena set to lead off the home half of the second. First pitch on its way. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. He swings at the fastball here and lifts it into the air to shallow center. And he will make the nice running catch out there as he had to travel a long distance to rein that one in. Up next for the Rays, Joey Wendell. Lifetime against this particular arm. He's gone three for eight. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Now the fastball is swung on and missed. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad back one one. barrel accuracy. One ball, one strike to count. Get out towards second. Fielded cleanly. In time to first, and there are two away. Now at the plate, here is Mike Sanino. Trying to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. 1-0. Now the 1-0. Hit sharply on the ground. Or the first with time to spare, and the side is retired. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Roberto Perez. First pitch of the A.B. now. It looked like the fastball got away from him there. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence.
He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. And he'll try to check his swing here, but he'll have no such luck. It's strike one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. It's been a great job so far by the eight-hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. First pitch on its way. Andres Jimenez stands in as he can't connect here, 0-1. Everything this guy throws is hard. That changeup he throws is in the high 80s to go along with that good heater. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time. Laid off for ball one. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Okay, Tough so take play. on a terrific pitch. Two balls and a strike now. And that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. This situation right here reminds me of sitting on the bench talking to John Smoltz, Hall of Famer. He would always say, even though the situation looked bad, a pitcher is okay. one pitch away from getting himself out of a tough jam. Now the three and two pitch he is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Next to stand in is no, Miles no. Strong. No, Threw a no, base no. on balls his first time up. Set and the pitch. And that's cut on and missed. Going one. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0 and 2. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk. Coming right after him here. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Next, it'll be Ahmed Rosario, struck out in his first at-bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. 0-1, here's the pitch. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. I got the count one and two. Perez, the runner at first with two gone. And that's two, high two, for two. a ball. It's two and two. Now a fastball inside and he works it back to a full count now. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked to count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. And he'll oh. step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. And now here is Kevin Kiermeyer. Lifetime versus this pitcher. He's 0 for 4. Now here's the first offering. Kiermeyer. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. And it's a ball and two strikes to Kiermeyer now. Misses, ball two. I really like watching righty throw that cutter in on lefty's hands like that. This one was down too, and if he hits it, there's a pretty good chance he's going to pound it into the ground. Maybe even give himself a shin burger. And good nope. patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the Number third. Number eight. So Second Tampa's base. batting order turns Brandon. over and set to go. Brandon Lau worked a walk in his first plate appearance. From the stretch. Ball one, no strike. Nobody out, runner on first. Ball two now. Pick your poison in this situation right here. I know that runner on first is certainly affecting his mechanics, 
and now you're down 2-0, and you've got to find a way to get back in the strike zone. And the Rays are in the hit column. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. That brings up Wander Franco. Tap down the line. Foul ball, however, strike one. And they're runners at the corners now. 0-1, here's the pitch. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Now the 0-2 pitch. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. That misses and we're even at 2-2. Two and two. All right, no more hope and he's going to chase. It's 2-2 two and two now. You've got to come up with the best pitch right here because this is definitely a strikeout situation. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first down. So first and third with one away. And that brings up the corner infielder G-Man Chorn. From the belt, kicks and deals. One out. Bottom of inning number three. Nothing, nothing our score. Hey. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find his own. If he wants Whoa, to walk them all in, we'll take it. Two balls and a strike to the Rays' first baseman. That's Missed three. with a knuckle curve there, and now it's three and one. Three and one. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch That's he can drive three. right here. And he misses with it, ball four. So that'll load the bases, now, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Nelson. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Nelson Cruz is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. And he falls behind 0-2. Bases are loaded here, one man out. Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Man, a pitcher let the guy off easy right there. That old two pitch wasn't even close. I'd rate that as a non-competitive pitch. Oh, Just a bit wild. high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. Now the first pitch. Breaking pitch, and this Count bounces in front of the catcher. One out away from stranding that runner on third. So the last thing you want to do is throw a wild pitch and let him score. Nice job there by the catcher to knock that one down. One and one the count. Fastball called strike. One and two. Hey, this is a huge pitch right here. It would be demoralizing to watch this inning slip away. And the 29th pitch of the inning is swung on and missed, and that'll finally end it. All set for the start of the inning, and next will be the switch hitting third baseman, Jose Ramirez. The old adage, pitching and defense have been stellar so far. They've certainly kept both offenses in check. Fouled away. The windup and the 0-1. Oh, one. one and one. Ball that time. And he missed again, high and away this time. Three and one. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. Now that. And that will bring in Fran Moraes, a base hit in his first trip. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. 
They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. In there for strike one. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Runner, Runner goes for second. Pitch one. inside the throw. It skips Eight. in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. The 1 1 home. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Kiermeyer's got to read on it. Makes the play one away. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. Now to bat, Josh Naylor, who went down on strikes in his last at bat. He's set. Here it comes. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 1. One of the biggest factors on how long you're going to go with the start is how many first pitch strikes you throw. 80% usually means you're going to have a pretty good day, and that's on the menu so far. Behind 0 and 2 now. And it's one and, two. one and two. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. Lays off the one two changeup, and he's worked it back to two and two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. So next to hit is Harold Ramirez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. From the stretch. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Meadows moving back at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now to the plate, here is Randy Rosarena. He'll look to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A ball and no strikes. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that first strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. And it's fouled away. A little too much on bite on the slider that time, taken outside. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Fouled off. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. One out here in the Tampa Bay Fourth. And digging in next will be Joey Wendell. First pitch of the A.B. now. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he's not stopping. He wants three. The relay throw. But he is in there with a triple. Here now is Mike Zanino. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And here's a fastball that's nowhere near the zone. It's 2 and 0 now. Great situation to be up at the plate right now. But if you're on the mound, there is absolutely no reason to give in to him. Stay on the outer quadrants of the plate and don't get beat in the middle. Now the 2 1 pitch. Wendell stands at third with one gone in the inning. And he takes ball. ball three, so it's a full count now. Boy, that was an awfully close pitch right there. I know if I'm on the mound, I want that pitch called a strike. That's one of those that could go either way. And he loses him on a breaking ball. First offering. 
mean, this is the left-handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. The 1-0. Yeah, swung on and missed strike one, one. one right. yeah he just wasn't on time right there front foot not down in time nothing happens before the front foot can get down Two breaking ball, ball right. that time that misses out of the zone boy this hole he's digging on the mound is all his doing if you can't throw strikes you're not going to be out there very long he's set and the 2-1 pitch ball three. time to wake up the That's offense the right one. here 3-1 count all in on something over the heart of the plate as a look, now the pitch. Three and two. Three and two now. The two strikes now to runner at first. Do you go for the strikeout? Are you still looking for the double play ball? Pretty good spot to be in as a pitcher right now. You can go for the punch out or try to induce the ground ball to get a double play. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And not in time as the run scores. So the batting order turns oh, over now and set to go. Brandon Brown wow. singled in his Where last at bat. Wow. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Inside, ball, ball. Runner on first with two away. There's the good knuckle curve. Yeah, ball, a ball and a strike. strike. in the dirt. The runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Into the corner and slicing foul. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. This one is launched. Look at this. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. At the plate, Come Wander Franco. Good stop. As he'll take a look at a strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Rolled slowly to first. By the tag himself, and the inning is over. <laughs> Digging in will be Bradley Zimmer. He flew out in his last A.B. First pitch on its way. Yes, he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. one. A ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. Now that blew him away. He was a little late right there. That's an elevated heater right now. You're seeing a trend in the game. We used to think east-west. That's how pitchers wanted to attack. We're seeing a lot more north-south. Your eyes light up on that heater just above the chest, and you think you can get there, and you can't. Two balls and two strikes to Bradley Zimmer. Got him. Striding in for the Indians, Roberto Perez threw a base on balls his first time up. The pitch. A ball and no strikes. And he ball watches one miss out. outside. 2-0 oh now. 3 no, and 0 oh now. Andres Jimenez is on deck. Hey. A strike and it's 3 and 1. And nope. he misses ball, ball 4. four. So one gone in the inning here with a runner at first. And that will bring Andres Jimenez into bat. From the stretch. Perez. A runner at first with one gone in the inning. And he fouls this one off.
and a classic one 2 pitch as the changeup misses low, and it's one and two now. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Hit hard up the middle. Scooped up. There's He's one. Down. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And here comes and the first baseman, the G-Man Choi. The first baseman. Now here's the pitch. Choi. Ball one. The one and zero oh delivery. A little bouncer. The one one. Down the first baseline. But a foul ball. One and two to count now. The two balls and two strikes now. And that's Absolutely. taken high for a ball that's full now. Three and two. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there in pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that the bullpen. Nelson. Here's the first pitch. Nelson Cruz stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1-0. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. Fouled away. Three runs, three hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. A bullet to first base, and they'll run him down and tag him out between first and second, a double play. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Austin Meadows. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. The windup and the 0-1. One and one. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Hit in the air down the right field line. And that will end up a foul ball. The one and two pitch. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Perez recovers. And He's the throw out. to first ends the inning. Yes. Back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Miles Straw struck out in his last trip to the plate. Number seven. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Down the line and fair, that's a hit. He's through first and hustling for second. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Plate now, Ahmed Rosario, as he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. Hard hit to the left side, but taken in out there at short. And that's allowed out number one. Next to dig in, Jose Ramirez. A couple of walks for him thus far. He's set and the pitch. Batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. Oh, one the count. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. And it's fouled away. Swing and a miss. And they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. The batter. So next, it'll be the four-hole hitter for the Tribe, Fran Reyes, runner in scoring position with two gone. First pitch coming. Here it is. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0-1. 
you can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, yeah I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin to win if he starts looking for it in there. Here it comes on one and one. And a check one swing ball. here as he couldn't two help strike. himself. And it's ruled strike two. That's and he lays two. off it to even the count two and two. Full count, three and two to the Indians DH. Josh Naylor would be next. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Tristan McKenzie enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 24. Here's Randy Arozarena. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. Now the pitch. The right field. Yeah. You know, some guys just don't like pulling the trigger in a 0-0 count. They don't like the ambush tactic. They like to calibrate the speed, maybe pick up the break. They want to know everything your ball does before they pull the trigger. Zimmer moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Now batting. Next to hit, Joey Wendell, one for two with a triple so far in this one. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Put that in the memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. Shin high. That's taken for a ball. A ball and two strikes. The ball, ball misses two. inside. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple okay. of times, so he might be looking for it. Full count, 3 and 2. Here comes the payoff pitch. Now a shot out toward the alley in right center. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he is in at second base with a one out double. Now that so here's Mike Zanino as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. A ball and a strike to Mike Zanino. A 1 and 2 count to the Rays catcher. And he chased it in the dirt. And the throw to first is there to record the second out. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer. He hit a sack fly earlier. Center fielder. Kevin Kiermeyer. First pitch on the way. Wendell stands at second with two gone. Dirt here, and he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Down low, two balls and a strike. Good time to be a nine hole hitter right now. More than likely going to get a good pitch to hit. The top of the order is looming on deck. Good spot to be a good hitter right now. And a little self-preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. So now into the box is Josh Naylor. Been a strikeout victim twice in this one. First offering. Ball. Count one and oh. This oh, winds up inside for a ball. 2-0 and now. Well, pitch count will become a factor here in the seventh. He's about to hit 100 for the game. All three. Yeah, Matty B, that magic number in today's game is about 100 pitches, and this next pitch will be pitch number 100. Dero, he's been sailing along pretty easily so far in this one. 
Yeah, he's given him some serious depth in this one. For him to get into the seventh inning allows the manager a lot of leeway, whether he wants to go to his bullpen or not. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. Colin McHugh comes on now, and he'll take over with nobody out in inning number seven. Harold Ramirez will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. From the belt, the pitch. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Now a good take here as he misses for a ball, and it's two and one now to the Cleveland left fielder. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to it here. Three and one. Well, tying run on deck. He should get something really good to hit right here in a three-one count. I'd be sitting on a fastball middle in. Now the three and two pitch. Line hard into left. Meadows has it, and there's one away. And that'll bring in the San Diego product, Bradley Zimmer. From the stretch, here's the pitch. 1 0, ball one. No runs, two hits, no errors to this point for the Indians. And a front foot curveball here that misses down and in for ball two. To two and two now. Shin high fastball that time, ball three. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three two count. You send the runner. Here's a fly ball well hit. Going back is the right fielder. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Into the box now. Roberto Perez. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. It was a walk in his last trip. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Now here's the pitch. Ball strike two on the cutter, and he's behind in the count now, one and two. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Hey, that's not an easy pitch to hold your swing up. I know it looked like it was way off the plate. Good job not swinging at it. Went to the slider to try and get him to chase, but it's full now, three and two. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Fouled off. Payoff pitch one more time. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Andres Jimenez, the next to bat. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. Meadows is there. Makes the catch and the ball game is over. Hey, this was a pretty tightly played game. Got a little bit of everything in this one. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching, and defense in certain spots. This one was a fun one to watch. A one-run game this afternoon, 3-2 to two, the final finish. The Rays took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Chris Archer takes home the win. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com.
for Cleveland. Two runs on three hits, no errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 49 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon.